here's Johnny! <laughs> Execute order 66. Um, one of, one of your good friends that you've taken drugs with before is Marilyn Manson, right? Um, we've, uh, we've had cocaine together maybe several times. Let's do all the drugs. I have such sights to show you. Good day, sir. Hi, Georgie. What the fuck is this world? Welcome back to Ashley's Crazy World. My name's Ashley. This is my channel where I talk about anything and everything. So go ahead, grab your chair. Uh, let's hang out for a little bit. Get your key. Get your key. Get your key. <laughs> you got a piece of gunner. Obviously, with the amount of these kind of videos that we can see, drinking is a big part in society. Today is actually the 18-month anniversary of when I decided to get sober. <laughs> Obviously, I've talked about my drinking in a previous episode, which you should be able to see right here. Um, some days my drinking was manageable, and then other days I just kind of managed to burn down the world. Fortunately for myself, I never actually got a DUI. There were two times when I absolutely should have. How I managed to talk my way out of or lie my way out of it, I honestly, I don't know. I am extremely grateful that I never got a DUI nor an uh, accident. Actually, it wasn't 100% intentional. It was kind of like an accident how I got sober. What I mean by that is on March 9th of 2022, I certified some friends of mine um, for scuba. We went out and had a, a couple drinks that afternoon. When it was time to leave, when I got up to leave the table, I actually left my beer half full. That day, after I got home from, you know, having a few beers with those friends, I decided I was going to walk about two and a half blocks over to a friend's house that I also worked with. While I was walking down, I was just kind of thinking like, you know, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from drinking and it wasn't like, oh, I, I've got this big problem and I need sobriety. I was just like, I don't know, it just felt like taking a couple days off. Those couple days actually turned out to be quite a few days. On my six month anniversary of taking this break, I actually walked into my first AA meeting, which was on September 9th, 2022. Yeah, it wasn't exactly on purpose. <laughs> Honestly, the the way that I made it through that time period, sheer determination and a mixture of white knuckle misery, I definitely am able to look back and see the difference between being a dry drunk that time period and then actually working on my sobriety without having become a member of AA. I, I would not have been given these tools to be able to stay sober and continue to grow as an individual rather than just wallowing in my own misery. That is a good question. No, quitting drinking didn't solve all my problems, but having sobriety, I am able to handle my problems now without resorting to running away from them, ignoring them, sweeping them under the rug, bottling them up, lying, cheating, whatever, like I am able to actually approach these issues and problems in a healthy, 
conducive way. For the newcomer to AA, two things. Uh, number one, 90 meetings, 90 days. Number two, get a sponsor as soon as possible, even if it's known that it's just a temporary sponsor, because you never know how those relationships are gonna work out. Be careful selecting your sponsor. Just like people in every other aspect of our lives, we need to be careful who we choose to have around us because even though they're a sponsor, some sponsors can still harm you. So I recently had a bit of a situation with one of my sponsors. This sponsor voiced their opinion to another member in a very dysfunctional way inside the meeting house during a meeting. And as I've always believed, the sponsor-sponsee relationship should have accountability in both directions, like us letting know each other have made mistakes or, or whatever. Um, I, I brought the way this situation was handled up to my sponsor and um, when this all happened in the middle of the meeting like I realized I didn't really want to be around that kind of energy so I went to another part of the facility to sit and like just kind of I don't know just seeking solitude rather than being around like negativity my sponsor came and found me um and was like hey you know what's going on why'd you leave and you know i just let him know that i just didn't want to be around that kind of energy and and i stated you know you could have handled this situation a lot better. You know, I would expect you to call me out on this as well. At which point the sponsor got very, very defensive and um, almost just started like verbally attacking me right then and there. And I, I told her that we're not going to have these kind of conversations right now. Like, you, we're not doing this. And she was like, well, when you're ready to talk, you come find me and use your words. I didn't really feel like it was something that we needed to talk about. I didn't think it was serious enough that we needed to make it into this, like, great big, huge discussion. I'm a lot more selective about where I put my energy for arguments nowadays. Her and I used to share or exchange um, funny memes and reels and, and stuff like that throughout the day. So I sent the sponsor a meme and, you know, kind of waiting to see like what kind of response I get back because like, hey, make sure we're cool because it's been a couple days I haven't heard anything. Another couple days go by and I send another picture or video something for a couple days, no response. So those couple days have gone by and I reach out and I say, hey, are we not talking now anymore? Like if that's the case, I'm okay with it. Just like tell me so I know. I got a message back from the sponsor that said something along the lines of, I've been waiting for you to use your words. The last thing I told you was, you know, when you're ready to talk, come, come communicate. And that it is not my sponsor's job to run around looking for her sponsees. This sponsor and I, we legitimately had a friendship. I mean, for nearly a year, we had been sending you know, these silly inappropriate memes and pictures and talking to each other on the phone and, and like random texting. Obviously there was a friendship here. And she puts, she put sponsee in capital letters. 
As I read this message, I realize that she capitalized Spawn C. So at this point, I'm recognizing that she is calling me Spawn C. And I'm like, okay. So I, I, I was like, I see. You are now referring to me as your Spawn C and not your friend. So since I'm your sponsee and I have nothing to talk about that involves sobriety or recovery, like have a good day. And she said in response, do not get a sponsor sponsee relationship mixed up. I have never once referred to you as my friend. You on the other hand have, and that is your choice. And like, that was just really kind of fucked up. I really feel like that is somebody that is lashing out. I'm not one to put like labels on people, but she definitely has a, a bit of a reputation in our program and, and that's okay. She has been extremely negative, really fucking angry. I'm the type of person, when I spend enough time around somebody, like, I kind of sponge their emotions. So if like they're positive, I tend to be more positive. If they're negative, I tend to be real negative. Um, and so, yeah, I was definitely absorbing a lot of negative energy off of this individual. And between that and just how quickly that relationship turned at the end, um, those are the things that you should be careful about. You know, obviously you need to find a sponsor that you can talk to, that you can trust um, and whatnot, but just like, be really careful. No, not at all. It's actually one of the best things I have ever done. And to be honest with you, I can still go out and have just as much fun and be just as fucking crazy as I've always been, but without the drinking, without anything. The few drinks that I do miss the flavors for, I can actually make a virgin Bloody Mary. They do make alcohol-free, like legitimate zero alcohol items that you can use for mocktails. And I have tried a couple of them. Generally speaking, like I'm, I'm cool. Like I'm not, like I'm not in a point where I need those flavors today. Say what again? Say what again? I dare you! I double dare you, motherfucker! Say what one more goddamn time? Honestly, to just be able to share my experience, strength, and hope to those that are still in active addiction. I want people to be able to see and recognize that even with an addict like myself, like the fact that I'm sober and, and, and whatnot nowadays, like if I can do it, so can anybody else. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Get your tail out of the street. What's good this week is honestly, you guys know I put a special emphasis on trying to keep track of my mental health. So with that said, obviously I'm moving um, in just a couple few weeks and the good thing going on is I already have a appointment with the psychiatrist already scheduled ready to go for when I get to where I'm moving. Unfortunately that's all I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this week. Hope everyone's doing good, taking care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay crazy.